Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to do uh, your reading here in a moment, but a couple things here before we get started. There will be an extended reading link below in the description box. Um, I will do an almost personal reading. Uh, if your person shows up here in the reading, what they're thinking, their feeling, their upcoming actions, their intentions, some love notes and guidance as well. So link again is below in the description box. And the last item I have for you is I am giving away one free personal reading um, uh, each month. To enter, you just need to be a subscriber, a like, and leave a comment and you will be entered. I will pick the winner. It's a random uh, pick, and I will announce it the first uh, week of every month, okay? So with that, let's get started here. I'm gonna pull the energy here with three uh, major arcanas. Okay, your first card here is the Fool card. Let's see what we have here. We got the Hierophant. We got Taurus energy there. Oh, very nice here. And we have the sun. Here comes the sun. Uh, the sun in Leo. Leo energy. Also August energy for me as well. Okay. You also have the empress on the bottom of the deck there as well. Uh, I feel like you're manifesting here, right? The birth is something here. So let's pull your tarot and see what the energy is. Let me just get a couple shuffles. I did pre-shuffle. Um, these cards are a little stiff. Uh, big for my hands. <laughs> so a um, little bit more difficult to shuffle. So, okay, let's get started here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have here for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? Okay, oh, Scorpio. We got the three of swords there. We have the knight of wands. And we have the queen of pentacles, okay? And bottom of the deck here, we have the hangman. All right. You know, I pick up a, a, some interesting energy here. I'm going to pull three more cards. But I got the three of swords here, okay? Some of you may have been involved in a third-party situation, right? Or you just may be in a place where you've, you've done some healing, right? And now you're ready, you're right? You're ready to go here. Take that risk, that leap of faith towards something new. Um, we'll see what the new is, okay? Um, for some of you, I feel like this could be about you, you know, starting to feel more excited, more motivated, putting yourself out there, dating, knowing your worth here, right, with that Queen of Pentacles, um, and seeing things from a different perspective, okay? Um, through, I feel, past situations, your wisdom, your sacrifices, all of that kind of stuff. But for others, I feel here there could be a return of somebody, right? This Knight of Wands energy could be an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius um, energy, okay? So let's pull some more cards, all right? There's some sort of new journey here, I feel, that's about to, to begin for you. And I'm going to say with the new journey, there's less baggage, okay? The Fool travels lightly, okay? Travels with... Uh, his companion there and it's not about male or female it's about the energy let's see why uh, let's see what the the um, what comes up next to that higher fent okay this could be about your higher self a spiritual lesson could be around a relationship let's see what the energy is here for you Scorpio okay. you have the three of wands You have the Eight of Swords. And you have the Eight of Cups. Okay, bottom of the deck here. Look at that. You got the Page of Wands. So interesting, Scorpio. Very, very interesting. Okay. 
I feel, like I said, some of you are moving on or healing or you're just ready for a, a new relationship. Um, it feels also to Scorpio that you may be opening up your options, right? Thinking about the future. I do feel like there's somebody here on your mind, okay? Um, but for others, you know, it could be somebody new coming into your life and maybe you, you, you're going to kind of feel like this person's a player or, right, they're not real serious here, right? Could be some inconsistencies. And then you have that, we're going to clarify some of these cards, and then you have the Eight of Cups here, all right? So I feel there's a situation here where you could be dealing with somebody or your higher self may be telling you about this situation that maybe you're just not feeling good about it or you're not feeling content about it. And I feel like you're going to explore your options here, right? You may actually walk away from this situation. But what I'm going to say here, you have the page of wands here. I feel like there's going to be some sort of communication here from somebody. For a lot of you, I'm just going to say, I feel like it could be um, somebody in your life who just really hasn't always been there for you or hasn't been consistent, okay, in your life, right? Somebody who hasn't really stuck around, okay? It could be somebody even a little bit younger than you, I'm going to say. But um, I'm going to clarify this Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here, please? Okay, you have the Ten of Swords. You have the Page of Swords. Look at that. And the Three of Swords. The Three of Wands. And the Judgment card. Okay, yeah. Exactly what I'm feeling. I feel like this is, and this may not be everybody's story here, but someone from your past is returning. I feel like it's somebody here that hurt you. I feel like, um, you know, your back is turned to this person. You know, you may have already walked away from this person, but I feel like this person here is coming back in your life. And I feel that's going to cause you a little bit, it's going to trigger some, some of that old emotions I feel here, or the hurt or the pain, whatever happened in your situation. Some of you even a third party, okay? Because I do feel like there was a past situation where things ended here with that Ten of Swords. You have the Page of Swords and you have the Three of Wands. You know, really what I get there, uh, Scorpios, I kind of feel like, um, again, like, you, you know, you kind of got your back to this person. I feel like you're going to feel kind of distant uh, or act distant to this person is what I get there, right? And I'm going to say here, too, this person may uh, be spying on you, right? Very curious what you're up to, but I'm going to say with the judgment card, I feel you have a chance to revisit this connection um, if you want to. I, I, I really get kind of a strong vibe here, Scorpio, that I, I almost like you're not interested is what I see here. Maybe I'm going to clarify that three of wands. Maybe there's some, some other uh, energy here of somebody else you're interested in because... Let's let's clarify this Eight of Cups first. Why is the Eight of Cups here, please? Okay, Two of Swords. I'm going to say we have the Sun card up here. So it feels like there's something nice here. This is all I feel here about your, your higher self, you know, spiritual lessons here, you know, that you've learned, which is good because I see you really focused on you and valuing you. And some of you may be very focused on career. You have the two of swords here. Woo, too many cards there. Why is uh, the eight of cups here? Five of pentacles. King of Wands. Yeah, you're very clear. This is what I get here. And you have the Temperance here as well. Um, strong Sagittarius energy. I feel, Sag uh, uh, Scorpio, you're very clear, I feel, um, about your worth right now is what I got here. You're very clear about what you want. And I feel like you're very clear about what you don't want here. And I feel like you're going to pull back your energy and even walk away from somebody um, 
who is not going to give you the support, the consistency that you deserve is, is really what I got. You want somebody who is going to be loyal to, to you, just like you are loyal to others. And um, even if there is, you know, I, I feel like there's probably a very strong, um, intense, powerful connection between you and this person, or there was in the past. But I, I feel like you're just at that point uh, where you're open to other things, okay? Something that is going to be um, more consistent for you is, is really what I get there. Why is the Three of Wands here, please? Why is the Three of Wands here, please? We're going to pull some more cards on that Sun card. We're going to see what that's about. Okay, look at that. The Devil, Capricorn Energy. You have the Eight of Pentacles. The High Priestess. I'm going to pull one more. And the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. And look at that. Remember I told you I said here, Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's there's somebody else, either who has already come into your life or who is coming into your life. That's what I was kind of picking up there, right? Because I kind of feel like you've maybe turned your back on this other person or you're walking away from somebody here. But you have the Devil card here. You have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the High Priestess. And you have the Seven of Pentacles. All right. I feel like you're looking in a new direction because this may have been a toxic relationship or like I said, a third party situation here. And I feel like um, your higher self, your intuition is telling you to invest um, in something else because I feel like this person here that I'm seeing has, has brought some heartache okay, to the table here. Right, like I said, I do feel like they're returning here. I do also feel like there is potential here for new love. I'm going to say it can be a rekindle here as well, but um, I'm leaning more towards new love for you. Let's see why the sun card is here. Okay, we're in the extended. We will look at your person. Uh, I will also look where the new love energy is going as well. But why is the sun card here, please? Oh, and I'm on the wrong deck. We need this deck. <laughs> Why is the sun card here, please? Why is the sun card here, please? Actually, I didn't even need to say that. Oh, look at that. The Empress. The Empress was on the bottom of the deck, okay, of the Major Arcana. We have the Queen of Wands. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Look at that. You're manifesting a new person here in your life. An emperor and an empress. This is someone I feel who may not be on, on your level, right? Uh, you may have a very strong chemistry and passion with this person. But I feel like um, between now and August, a new person here is coming into your life. Now, this is if you make yourself single and available, right, uh, for this person to come into your life. But this is someone I feel who has, um, who basically mirrors you. The two of you are at the same level, want the same things, could actually even be a marriage partner. I see here a relationship that leads to marriage. And you also have here um, the Four of Pentacles, okay? So I feel with this Four of Pentacles, um, it's about you, right, holding back here, like I said, the Eight of Cups, exploring your options, right, not giving yourself to somebody, I feel, unless they're going to be on the same page as you, right, and I feel like this new relationship that's coming in for you is going to be somebody who's going to be on the same page as you, and like I said, it could even be somebody here that you end up marrying, all right? Now, like I said, there's this other person coming in and may be a temptation for you. So I'm going to take it to the extended. We're going to see uh, how it plays out with this person who's coming back around. Uh, and I will look at new love as well. So I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.